all the pretty girls So now they wanna kiss all the pretty girls They got to have a taste of a pretty girl In the bag, I'm all the pretty girls I got it can never happen in another world Yeah, it's a blessing and it's a curse Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. I almost said happy Friday, which is not sad. We love Mondays here. Remember, it's a new week. We can do new things. I truly love Monday. Um, I just realized that my straighteners cracked on two sides, which I cannot be surprised about because I literally drop it on the floor every single day. And you know, it's been a trooper. So she's allowed to have some cracks as long as she stays together. Anyways, hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I feel like this weekend was our like soft launch back into the grind of weekends with three kids. We had one game, which is nicer than like three. We've had four games on one day before. So it was like a soft, like going back into sports, starting back up. It was fun. It was busy. We had a lot of stuff going on. Remember how I said we don't have anything going on? I should never say that. We always have stuff going on on weekends. Today, I am actually doing an Amazon Live for Strictly Home Decor. So I've got a hutch from Amazon, I've got two side tables, and I'm gonna show you guys how I style essentially flat surfaces. So you can watch me style the hutch. All the things will be Amazon. Um, and I thought that would be an easy thing to do because then I can show you what exactly I used and if you wanted to copy something exactly, like buy off the mannequin, Everything is right there and going to be linked or you can take screenshots and use things that you already have at your home. So it's kind of a two for one. The people who are there for a new home decor that they want to purchase, you, revamping your spaces, you've got the access to that. The people who just want some styling tips and some info pop on and you can kind of listen to how I style things. I will share the link here in stories once we get that going. It's going to be 1245 Central Time is when it'll be up. And then of course I'll share the link after um for you to watch the replay if you can't make it i understand it's the middle of the work day a lot of people can't make it um and that way it's saved so also if you tap on my link in my bio i've got my amazon lives the link to all the past lives it's all right there in my bio so if you tap that little paper clip that's got the links um i think closer to the bottom it says amazon storefront and it'll say amazon lives watch amazon lives i can't remember what i put but it's there in my bio um so yeah That'll be fun. Come hop. I'm going to show you guys a belt because I'm in a big belt phase right now. I say I'm in a belt phase, but what this phase is, is I realize that I've been wearing the same old navy belt for over five years and only in black and brown. I have no other styles. That's it. And then the other belts that I have, like are skinny, are the little skinny, like cheap stuff that would come on like, I'm not kidding, like Agassi clothing. Do you remember that store, Agassi? I've had it for at least 15 years and I never got, a, got rid of them. And it's like the old style, but now it's back again, like the real thin. And so I'm like, anyways, I'm trying to get like some decent belts that aren't made of like plastic that are like shredding at the bits, like the Agassi ones. Anyways, I just had a huge flashback to like loving Agassi in middle school and high school. Anyway, I'm going to show you this belt because it is reversible. I just think it's so cool. It kind of has that play, um, that play off of Gucci, like their bridal bit collection, kind of giving me Gucci vibes got it on the brown option but what's cool is it's totally reversible it's actually really easy to flip so you can take this little part and just rotate it and then it goes through that same top hole and now it's a black belt I thought it was really cool it's got the stitching on the sides it's got um, a lot of holes which is nice so it can be a true waist belt or it can go up higher like on your stomach for high-waisted pants but I thought that was a really neat little two for one. I like it. And then I also like the little design on it. It's thick. It's not a thin belt. Like it's like the the thickness of it is good quality. It's just a little subtle pop of something, something. Anyways, I like it. Another one that I just started wearing is this little sleek. It actually came in a two pack. So, and there's lots of different colors. The one I got was just standard black and brown because I'm boring, but I think they have some like patterns and prints on them too, but it's a nice little gold, same kind of attachment, closure. I don't know. 
the little doohickey that makes it a belt. And this one does not have stitching. It's just a like a, it's more of a thinner belt, minimalistic belt, if you will. There's no stitching on it. It's just very sleek. I've been wearing this one nonstop last week. I thought it was so cute. Again, just a little subtle something. It kind of reminds me of like when belts are like this and like the one I just showed, it's like almost like a little piece of jewelry for the outfit. Just a little boop. And that. I like it. Berkeley came to me a couple days ago and said, Mom, I want a fanny pack. I was like, you want a fanny pack? Why do you want a fanny pack? I think her friends are showing up with them at school. She's like, yeah, I just want a fanny pack. And I was like, okay, well, you have your money. And she's like, yeah, I'll pay with it, pay for it with my own money. So she's like, can we get on Amazon and look up fanny packs? I'm like, well, let's look up belt bags because that's the correct term right now. We're going to get more options with belt bags. So she looked up belt bags, students dude, found one that she liked that had a 50% off coupon, made it 16 bucks. But she also saw the one that I showed her that was 10, the one that I always talk about and the one that I have. So she tried on all of mine. I have a pile of belt bags in the middle of my bedroom floor right now. And she still decided to go with the one that she wanted. It's actually really cute. It's with the little chevron. And it came with a card of like different ways to wear it. You can like take the, the stuff off the front. And I, was, I threw it in the trash and she was like, mom, don't throw that away, I need it. I won't remember that. She opened it last night. And she told me this morning on her way out the door, I still don't know if I'm gonna keep it, mom. I'm like, that's fine. You can sit with it for a few more days, a week or so. So she's really trying to see if it's worth her. I haven't even taken the $16 from her yet. She's really trying to figure out if it's worth it for her. I said, what are you even gonna put in there? She said, my chapstick. To which I replied, of course. My most dramatic plant. And I've had quite a few dramatic plants. But Randy takes the cake. He looks like he's dying instantly overnight. And then by tonight, maybe because it's gonna get dark soon, we'll give him till tomorrow morning. He will be a whole different plant. <laughs> he looks so sad. This umbrella, oh, I'm spilling. This umbrella plant. Is my least dramatic plant. He has gotten so big. Okay, I can't do this in water at the same time. I'm gonna water all my hardwoods. Mm, oh, baby. This one is just thriving. It was thriving outdoors and now it's thriving. I might keep it inside because it's just so pretty. But it's budding like huge. So usually there's only six to seven in the past and now I'm getting like eight leaves per, which I don't know if that like means it's super healthy. I don't know, but so shiny and new and pretty. And now there's new babies coming. I love that so much. It gets a couple rough leaves like underneath like this one, but it's all right. Let's see that Let's pull it off. Myself, it's true. I like the way you move. Uh huh. Oh, we got something in this room. Can't make that up. You may not be the one. 